Greetings all. Uh, this is a short video just demonstrating some uh, issues that some people may be having with their metronome in Cakewalk. Um, so I, I've had this uh, sketch set up with uh, the BBC uh, Free Symphony Orchestra patches uh, from Spitfire audio. And uh, basically, uh, it's just a, a basic set of tracks. And uh, I started with the basic uh, setup and added all those tracks. But suddenly, my metronome stopped working. Okay, And so you can see here, I have it set to playback and set to use the metronome when recording. If I play back... I have no sound. Okay, if I if I set something to record, I don't think I have a click either. Okay, so let's try that. Yeah, and it's frozen. I mean, it won't move the playhead. Oh, there we go. Okay, but still no click track. What is going on here? Um, I have run into this from time to time with uh, Cakewalk, like the metronome just suddenly disappears, which is bizarre because the metronome is like one of the crucial functions of the, of the software. It's part of the timing, uh, I, I, and I don't know how it's coded, but of course a metronome is obviously an essential part of a, 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 an audio workstation here, so I'm not sure how you can just completely disable it. Um, you can mute it, of course, but in this case, and I'll show you this uh, in a minute as well, um, even if you delete the metronome track the metronome should still be present so what is going on here and if I of course I change these toggles here and I play okay again just showing you it's playing if I hit the playback metronome button nothing if I stop it and change that set it to record this track and it's a MIDI track so obviously we want to record Give it a second, okay. And I enable the record, met or record and play the metronome while recording. Nothing, okay. And I don't know what started this issue, uh, but I did discover that if I, you can see that I have this uh, the effects bypass is enabled, so it would bypass any effects I have on the tracks. Well, all I have is this the VST synths loaded. I have nothing else, and of course those work. Uh, let me see here like this one here so my sound is working it's not like I'm not having I, I'm not having a sound card issue or something it is it is literally the uh, metronome is not playing back for some reason but yes so this effects bypass seems to be affecting the metronome playback so if I I just uncheck that if I re uh, enable the metronome during playback there our metronome is back Okay, and if I do the same thing with record, right now, if I start recording without the metronome. Oh, that's, that's the, the, the reason that we're not hearing anything and it's, it seems to be stalling is because it's giving me that click off, that count off. Okay, there we go. There's our metronome. And so, again, if I restart, that's the click off. That's why it seemed to be stalling. I have it set to two bars click off, and then there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> I have run into this issue on other on other projects before for some reason, and I uh, I just discovered today that that seemed to be an issue. So uh, you may check some of your other settings here because I got, obviously if you're if you're quickly moving back and forth, you could accidentally hit that FX button, and then for some reason that may cause your metronome not to work. Okay. So, and, and I'll come back in a second and I'll start with a, bl a completely blank palette so you can see how to add your metronome track back in. Okay, so I have set up this uh, new project and I just used the basic settings and, what, and then I just deleted the MIDI and the uh, audio track that it usually starts with and I deleted the metronome and the preview track that usually come in here in the bus settings just so I can show you how to set all this up manually from scratch okay so th the one thing you the metronome is still gonna be active even if I don't have a metronome track here and you can see that if I play okay you don't hear anything but if I hit the play button the play the metronome during playback button there we go the metronome came back. We can see it active in the output here. Okay. So obviously the metronome is still present. I, again, this is an essential function of the digital audio workstation to have a metronome because t uh, there's different timing mechanisms, SMPTE and, and several other ones. But uh, obviously a metronome would be a, an essential part of 
the basic functionality, so I don't believe you can just turn off the metronome and delete it altogether. It's going to be present, but again, it may or may not be present in your mix. So uh, here where you want to add a metronome track, so we have control over it and, it, and insert it into the mix, either into the output or into a track. So we're going to add a new stereo bus, insert stereo bus here, okay, and it just says bus B. Let me give me some, let me take some more space here. Okay, bus B. Now, the currently the output is set to the master, which is usually how you want it. Um, you can you can change the master to di directly to your audio card, your sound card. Uh, in this case, I'm using the voice meter. Uh, software for routing and everything internally before it goes to my uh, sound card output so uh, we could send it directly there so it's not going to be routed inside of, of sonar but what we want to do is set this up so that it is controlling the metronome or a lot controlling the signal of the metronome I should say and then we're going to route that into a new track okay so first thing I want to do is rename this I'm, it's just a generic bus I'm going to set it to, say, Metro, okay? Obviously, I'm doing that on purpose because Metronome is what it usually defaults to when it when you open a new project, and I want to differentiate that a little bit, okay? So I have Metro. Now, from here, again, the Metronome is not coming through that track. I want to set in the preferences, so P, and we go to Project Metronome, okay? And I'm going to set, I always like to have my click off as to, as to two count, uh, two bars usually. Um, the subdivision, I just want the quarter notes basically going. And here's the important thing. Uh, you can choose whichever sound that you like. I'm fine with a ping that it's, that sounds. Uh, and I like a high pitch ping for count one and a, and a low ping for the other, two, other counts in the measure. Uh, that's a pretty standard operation of a lot of metronomes and I like that and the sound is okay with me um, I sometimes prefer a woodblock sound so I could try that for now just for the sake of the video woodblock high and low all right but the important thing is I'm going to choose the output of this now right now it's it if I if I hit apply okay so all it did was change the sound of the metronome okay so, but it didn't send it to this track. I also have to set the output to that track. So I want to set the output to the Metro track. And now we should see that active in my Metro bus here. Okay. Now that is going from the Metro track and we can see that it is active now in the master as well. The master was blank before when the Metro was playing because again, before the settings was the metronome was going straight out to the sound card or the, the the last output in the chain now I have control of my metronome the click track and I have control over where it's going in the chain now I want to record a metronome track separately I'm going to insert an audio track alright and I'm gonna call this click track okay and let me shrink down the, the master now I have this click track the metronome is currently still set to master now there is no way that I can send the um, output directly from from this track here I cannot select as the input I can't select one of the buses as an input that's not possible okay let me show you that okay I can select my microphone um, the patch point is what we're going to use in a second, but we don't have the choice of the, the master or the metronome here. We can't do that. The buses are kind of isolated from the tracks, but by using the patch points, we can do that. So I'm going to select the output, okay, and let's just go ahead and set new patch points. So this is set, the output now is patch point two. So I want to select the input here, the input of my new track as patch point two. And I'm going to select it as mono left just because it's a click track. We don't need stereo, so mono will be just fine. Now, we should see this. If I record and enable this track, we should see the metronome working. Okay, we can see the input is coming in. Now, if I go to record this right now, the way it's set up over here, it's, it, it's not going to record anything. Okay. And 
and oh my god, I did something wrong. No, there's nothing wrong here. You have to enable the metronome to act during recording. Okay, so that has to be, that button has to be activated because now you're in the record mode, so you have to have record, uh, met, you know, metronome active during recording. That's what you basically have to have active, okay? And so now, uh, if I start again at the beginning of the track, that's our count off. It sounded like, it looked like there was a stall, but really it was that count off that was being clicked away silently. Okay? And so here we have four bars of metronome. Now, if, you, if you've gone through, I have another video where I show you, you can make tempo changes and you can use, uh, you know, there's different methods to, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you've already recorded something live and you're trying to go back and add some stuff to it, you can you set up your metronome so that it follows your recording using Snap2. There's other techniques, but this is basically how you record a metronome into its own track. Okay, and then I showed you earlier that for some reason if you have this bi bypass, uh, sometimes it makes the metronome silent, and I'm not sure why, but it seems to be that that's what happens. So uh, just got to make sure you have all those settings set properly. So we have the metronome track is routed into a patch point, which is then selected as our input in the track settings. I record enable the track, and I have metronome during recording set turned on okay and so those are the settings that we have to create that metronome click um, so that is uh, hopefully solving some of those issues I, I have run into a problem where uh, the metronome even it just doesn't seem to be playing at all it should always the metronome should be present no matter what even if you delete the tracks and everything else there should always be a metronome somewhere um, and if and if it's not one of these buttons that have been selected uh, you may have to actually just exit cakewalk and then restart it because sometimes it I, I, I have had that problem where the metronome just come, like disappears from audio for some reason and I've found no way to get it back other than you know rebooting the software so uh, if you're in if you're in that situation you've tried all these other methods of, of adding the metronome track and routing everything uh, you might try just exiting the software and coming back into it and if you're having that tr problem on an existing track and even rebooting and, and then opening up that new project, excuse me, if you're having that problem with the project and you're, if you try to re, re uh, you know, exit and then reboot the software and then open up that project and you're still having all these metronome issues, they're, they're, I don't, I don't know what to tell you as far as fixing that because the metronome should always be present. And if these other methods don't work, then you may need to take those tracks, start a new project, uh, and then open up those tracks in the new project. Um, because there may be some kind of a glitch in the actual, um, coding somewhere that, that is t actually turning the metronome off somehow. Um, and it may be that you have something set in your, um, preferences. Yeah. There's sometimes these mach uh, the, the MIDI machine control things might be a problem or the MIDI sync clock that might be an issue that's causing the metronome not to work. So you may want to check these uh, check these settings and play around with them th because that might actually be what's um, uh, changing your uh, metronome click in your in your playback. Um, I don't think anything. Yeah, it may be something here. Uh, again, I'm not I'm I'm not as familiar with these because these have to do with more with uh, synchronizing your uh, video playback to your audio. Um, but we do have these ticks settings, and we have some of these. So that might be what you're dealing with as far as your um, uh, the project. So if it's not the record uh, timing settings, uh, the MIDI settings here, uh, maybe the clock settings. That might be something interfering with your MIDI uh, metronome signal. So, uh, yeah, anyways, in conclusion, that's basically getting your metronome set up. If you've deleted it by accident, if you accidentally delete the metronome track from your, your buses, it's, it's not a problem. You can just add a new one back in there and um, yeah, just make sure you go to your preferences and reroute your uh, metronome into that track that you added into the bus section. Okay? I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.